Yeah. Nothing. I'm just tidying up. Things were starting to look messy. I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? I'm not ignoring you. I just wanted to get this cleared up before you got back home. Work was just the same old today. Annoyingly busy, understaffed, and stressful. But nothing new about that, is there? Go on. I know you want to say it. That I'm a fool for staying there. And you know what? I am. No, I am. I finish work and then come home and everything was going wrong here and now I'm cleaning up. And <sighs> it wasn't really that messy. No, honey, I'm not angry at you. No, I'm not upset with you either. I'm annoyed. That's all. And myself. And stuff. If I tell you, you'll just laugh or think I'm being silly and overdramatic. Really? You promise not to laugh? Okay, let's sit down. So, I came home and I just wanted to curl up on the sofa and watch a movie with some homemade nachos. I knew you were going to be at least a few hours getting home. And I wanted to rewatch something. Something that I'd seen a million times already. So I started with making the nachos. I shredded the cheese and got the salsa out and chopped up the jalapenos nice and small. And of course, when I went to grab a pack of Doritos, couldn't find any. I didn't know we were out. I could have sworn I'd seen some. The sensible thing would have been to go out and buy some. But I was just not in the mood to head outside again. I'd already come home and showered and changed into your hoodie and joggers. Precisely. There's no getting me out of them once I'm in. <laughs> okay. Maybe... One or two ways. But no, you weren't here. And I was not ready or willing to go anywhere. Mm, I did consider messaging you to get some. But the last thing I wanted to do was send you on an errand. After a long day of work. <laughs> Especially over a packet of crisps. What if you'd been waiting to get home all day? And I keep you away for even longer. <laughs> exactly. I couldn't keep you away from me longer than we need to be. It would be cruel. Mm, I don't blame you. After the events of today, maybe a trip to the shop would have been the wiser option. Uh, after that? Oh yeah, um, then it gets even worse. I sit down naturalist to watch a movie. Which one? Try and guess. Mm, it wasn't any of our super favourites. I mean, it's still one of my favourites, but not in the top three. If that gives you any clues. Nope, not that one. I behave like I could watch that without you. I feel like that was a trick answer. Because I would have been in trouble if I had said yes to that one. Do you think I secretly watch rom-coms when you're not around? Well, you would be right. I was watching The Notebook. <laughs> Just kidding. We've still not seen that movie. Hmm? No, I had started watching Pitch Black. Yeah, started. I didn't notice, but the laptop battery was dying, and by the time I did, it was too late. And then, even when I plugged it in, it wouldn't switch back on again. I don't know what's wrong with it. I was halfway through the movie when it switched off suddenly, and... 
You are not making a pitch black pun. I will exile you if you try. Mm hmm. Exiled from the sofa? No, not forever. <laughs> Just for a second before I pull you back again. Hey. Oh, I am not a Grumpasaurus. Take that back. You said you weren't going to make fun of me. Hmm. I don't know if I feel like finishing the movie off anymore. I'm well and thoroughly peeved off. I could have finished it on my phone, but that's too sensible, silly. And you can't switch to a smaller screen like that. It takes you out of the zone, you know? I can watch a TV show on my phone, but I can't watch a movie on it. Unless my options are severely limited. Tell me about it. First world problems, huh? Can you imagine us huddled up in bed, watching a movie on my phone? <laughs> or rather, I should say trying to watch a movie. We'd have to take it in turns to hold it. And I would tell you my hand hurts after a while. So that you would have to hold it. <laughs> And you'd have to hold it sideways. You could try to balance it against something, but the slightest movement, or the tiniest of tremors, and flop. <laughs> Phones are evil like that. They'll flop, no matter where they are. It's just my phone that does that. I don't know why. Wherever and however I angle it, it falls over or slides off onto the floor. I swear, I think it's jinxed. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Touch wood, but the screen is still intact and I couldn't ask for more. <laughs> it's a particular talent of mine. No matter how many times I drop my phone, the screen will not crack. And the day that it does, I think I'll actually cry. Speaking of, when you get a second, can you have a look at the laptop, please? I'm worried about all the work that I have on it. I don't want to lose everything. I hope it's just a battery issue. No, you don't have to do it right now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, babe. Mm-hmm. Everything's plugged in. Unless there's something wrong with the extension. I tried all the sockets, nothing worked. There's no way. Wait, it wasn't switched on at the mains. I'm so sure it was. I didn't even think to check. It's working. <laughs> no, babe. You said you wouldn't say anything. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm glad it's working, at least. <laughs> hmm. I'm not a dodo. It was a genuine mistake that nearly derailed my entire afternoon. I'm sorry. I was grumpy cleaning and nearly ruined your mood as well. I didn't. No, I can't be grumpy and cute at the same time. <laughs> I'll have to take your word for it then. You always manage to chase the grumps away. And I will check the main switch next time. That's worse than not knowing to switch it off and on again. I feel like I've committed a fundamental crime. <laughs> mm, you won't turn me in. And what if we have to go on the run? Would you be tempted to turn me in then? Not even then, huh? So you'd be happy if we had to go live silent undercover lives somewhere far away when no one knows us and we might have to up and leave at a moment's notice. Hmm. That does sound kind of nice, doesn't it? 
hypothetically, mm -hmm. can you imagine not being able to have movie night with popcorn or nachos? I don't even want to imagine the level of grumpage there would be. <laughs> I'm happy with this. With us here, just as we are. Hmm. Nachos would be nice too. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm not ridiculous. What makes you say that? Mm hmm. I might give you that one. But I'm your ridiculous girlfriend. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> I don't mind. We could head out to the shops and grab a few things that we need. And have a proper movie night. Yeah, if we're going out anyway, we might as well go all out. An impromptu movie date night? Unless you had something else planned. Are you sure? No, I wouldn't mind if you made plans already to go out with your friends. I'd miss you very much, that's for sure. What would I do? Hmm... Solo movie night, of course. <laughs> but I wouldn't leave you out of it entirely. Nope. I wouldn't send you lots of messages, just a choice few, a mix of messages and perhaps some snaps, mm, keeping it simple, you know, just to show you what you're missing out on, I mean, to show you that I'm missing you. <laughs> hey, I did not let my plan slip, and it's certainly not an evil plan. Well... It would be considered rude to keep you out of the loop of my evening celebrations just because you can't be there. So I'd make sure that you don't feel like you're missing out. And that way you wouldn't feel guilty about leaving me at home or by my lonesome. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, babe. I'm feeling much better, thanks to you. Honestly, it's fine if you made plans already. I'll be good. Not too good, mind you. You can definitely expect a few messages of a certain nature. No, I wasn't kidding about them. <laughs> You're not going out? Wait, why not? You don't actually have anything planned? Okay. Now that can get you into trouble. Yes, a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you're staying home, so I'll let you off the hook. But we should get up then, if we want to go pick up some food. I finally got the incentive to get changed. Or I might just go out like this. What? But we're at home together. Why would I still send you pictures? <laughs> no. <laughs> so dramatic. You haven't been robbed of anything. I'm right here. You don't need pictures today. <laughs> <laughs>